Have you ever looked at a seemingly infinite pattern of tiles and thought to yourself that you may be looking at a history of tradition and craftsmanship in the Philippines? Well, I have something cool for you. Machuca tiles have been around for almost 100 years, and you've probably come across them without knowing what they are or the history of them. They are the oldest handmade tile company in the Philippines, tracing its roots as far back as 1903. Their projects include historical places such as churches, restaurants, and even private homes, including tiling the home of former president Jose P. Laurel's home in Paco, Manila. Hi, I'm Jaime Machuca, and I'm the vice president for Machuca Tiles. Our company was started by my great-grandfather, Jose Machuca y Romeo, in 1903. He brought over original Spanish and Mediterranean-inspired patterns, as well as the technology of making handmade cement tiles. The surname Machuca actually comes from the Spanish word machar, which means to grind or to hammer, which suggests our family has had a history as artisans. There's actually a common misconception that all pattern tiles are equivalent to machuca tiles, but in reality, we're the only source and manufacturer of authentic machuca tiles. Our history and expertise in this field have made us one of the most reliable sources of pattern cement tiles since 1900. We can manufacture custom patterns and custom color schemes. Each tile is genuinely handmade piece by piece. For every Machuca tile order, you support our local artisans and help preserve this art form. You can be assured that each tile carries with it a rich history and is thoughtfully made just for you. So the process first starts with making a pattern tile mold at the same time, we mix color pigments with cement and dry sand. Once both are ready, the tile makers prepare to create the tile piece by piece. The colored cement is mixed with water and is hand poured into the enclosed shapes of the tile mold. We add sand and cement to form the base, then proceed to using the tile press. Once pressed, the tile is removed from the steel mold and left to cure for seven days. Once cured, it goes through quality control before they are packed and shipped to the client. There is of course a challenge in preserving this art form while staying relevant in our ever-changing times. The biggest hurdle would have to be trying to maintain this age-old art form in a modern world where we compete against mass-produced pattern tiles from overseas. We've increased our pattern and tile selection. We've made sure to keep in touch with our roots by simply refining the handmade process. A large part of the manufacturing process remains the same, but we've improved upon the details that ultimately make a better quality tile. Well, we have so much appreciation for those who support Machuca Tiles. Because of them, we are inspired to not only continue, but improve upon our products and services. We can attribute our success to all of our loyal clients and followers, as well as all of our hardworking employees. They have all played a crucial role in sustaining Machuca Tiles throughout the decades. What I like most about working with this company is apart from being able to work with my family, it's really the privilege of being able to carry on the tradition that our company has kept alive throughout the years. Now that we've walked through the factory and seen the ins and outs of the production process, this is high miss advice for those who want to run an age-old business. Don't be afraid to take on challenges. Uh, put yourself out there and try to see everything as a learning experience. Speaking of experiencing it for yourself, here's some bonus content for you guys. If you're wondering where you can appreciate the Machuca tiles up close, our clients from the food industry are some of the more well-known projects. It includes Mary Grace, Wildflower, Nikkei, and many more. So there you have it, something cool for you guys to remember while being mesmerized by the tiles of Machuca. You're not only taking a photo for your Instagram, you're also taking part of the rich artistic history of the Philippines. 
If you spotted something cool, send it over to spotted at spot.ph. For more videos like this, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.